Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I wanted to do a quick two minute profile of the tomato plant, tomato variety that I think is best for new gardeners and any gardener really and I'll go over the reasons. But let's just get to the point. This is the Homestead Variety Tomato. I highly recommend it. It's a semi-determinate tomato. And what does that mean? That means it's only going to get about that tall compared to indeterminate varieties that will continue to grow and grow. And you can see those all the way down there. So it's not determinate. It doesn't get to a set height about there, die off. It continues to grow all summer long, but it stays more compact compared to your standard indeterminate type tomatoes. And that's really good for a new gardener because it's going to take up less space. It's a little bit easier to manage and prune. Well, I'll show you all the tomatoes that are on there. They're just starting to ripen. I got this one into my garden a little bit later. It takes about 80 days for the fruits to start turning red so that you can harvest them. But take a look at the leaves. They're just in beautiful condition. Now, all the tomatoes in this row have been sprayed with a routine equally. However, back in the beginning of July, my routine kind of fell apart. But this plant has not been treated any differently. And when you start looking at some of the other plants, you can see spotting on the leaves. That was a good variety too. That is the porter. But that's smaller tomatoes. But a lot of your tomato leaves start looking like that. That's the homestead on the left. I just wanted to show you, you know, what it looks like being semi-determinate. But the key to this, especially for gardeners that have been gardening for a while, if you're in a high humid area, I am on the east coast of Maryland, we get 90 and 100% humidity through July and August. This plant holds up. It's one of my favorite tomatoes that, to deal with heat and humidity. It does really, really well. And the importance is that the plant that you see now the one over there, look at all the spots on the leaves. That's different diseases creeping in. That's going to happen in your garden. But when you come over to these two better varieties, actually, that's the porter. I'll talk about that in another video. Look at the homestead. The leaves are just holding up. Now, you're going to get a lot of baseball-sized tomatoes on here. Great for slicing. And the plant is loaded. There's at least... 40 on here, all starting to mature and come in. So it's going to hit marks for resisting disease, staying compact, yet it will produce the entire season. And it's really, really prolific. There's at least 40 tomatoes on here. Here's one. This is about the average size that you get. But this is the homestead variety tomato. I grow them every year. It's a must for my garden and I highly recommend them for your garden and really for new gardeners. You'll be really happy with this plant's production and it's a little bit easier to care for. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.